creeping up on me. Hey my loves, hey my loves, hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bibi K if you're new and you're all welcome, welcome, welcome. We only have two rules in this family. One, you have to subscribe and two, please don't skip ads because a girl needs some coins. <laughs> Are my hands ashy? Nope. So as you can see by the title today, I'm doing like a chit chat, get ready with me, showing you guys the products that I use mostly very affordable products if i can afford them so can you because i'm not that kind of girl that breaks the bank nope i'm all about you know cheap things affordable things so yeah a lot of people are like oh we miss your makeup videos and i was like oh i didn't know you guys miss them that much i'm like okay so since this week i do not have a vlog but i was like uh, i got them i got them with this makeup look so I don't know if I should dedicate this look like for a pride month since it's still June. We are like in the month of pride month. I don't know. But another thing about me, I do not like having a lot of colors on my eyes. So nope. But yeah, happy pride month. I'll stick to my neutral colors. It is fine. So first things first, I'm going to do my brows of which I don't think I need it to be here. I will link up... um my brow video so that you can check it out i still do my brows the same way nothing has changed i use my 10 rand pencil where is it i use my 10 rand pencil which is a dupe i get them at our dollar stores for like 10 rand before i used to get it for five rand so this session so i use this and i use a spoolie and a concealer which concealer do i use um this one from wet and wild and i think this is 80 rands or 79 rands something like that that's what i'm saying i'm a very very affordable girl so let me quickly do my brows and i'll come back so that i can i am back and yeah i know i look a little crazy but in this channel we what we trust the process <laughs> so i'm gonna set my eyelids with this candid setting powder um i enjoy this powder i do not know why i enjoy it so much and yeah because i'll put on concealer so i want to set it so that it doesn't crease which is very important because i get a lot of questions like that like on my dms people ask me how to, um why does my eyeshadow crease a lot and i'm like you have to set okay let me put my mirror nicely <sighs> and i'm like you have to set your what's this you have to set your concealer because if you don't set it it's gonna look like you are just one crazy person and yeah this is all just that i do it's nothing major but you have to set your concealer the same way you set your concealer under your eyes you just have to do it on your um eyelids so that your eyeshadow doesn't crease so yeah guys how are you it's been a while since we've been chatting <laughs> i miss my sit down videos i'm not gonna lie but at the same time i was thinking to myself what should i do like what should i do what should i do like i want to do a lot of sit down videos but at the same time like what do i do do i do a mukbang, mukbang? the last mukbang i did i didn't find it nice like i didn't enjoy doing it I did not enjoy eating and talking. Yes, I'm a multi-talented woman, but those two things were just weird. And I'm going to go in with my Hermosa Flow Daisy Palette. This is also very affordable. I think it's 250 or something like that. Yeah. So I just mix a lot of colors when it comes to eyeshadow, but I make sure they are neutral colors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two just to create a base like at the end here and i'm gonna use oh did i dip in the black and then i'm gonna use this as my what's this for my cut crease so yeah so oh child if there's one thing about powder you know be on your clothes so yeah i've been getting a lot of questions like that and makeup questions but at the same time i'm like should i do makeup videos um in my mind i thought makeup videos are like overrated or something like that like 
people do not enjoy those anymore can y'all guys see because i just want you guys to see the whole thing so it's like what do i do and remember i put up a questionnaire saying you guys should send me your confessions i still have those by the way i still have those but i have not done the video because um the the initial thing was to do the video with my sister because i feel like it will be boring if i'm alone if it makes sense so i want to do it with my sister so i'm gonna wait for her to be ready so that you know because guys at the end of the day this is my channel and i cannot expect people my pillow i wanna i am because of me so i'm gonna wait for her to say okay now i'm ready maybe she wants to do her hair she wants to do her makeup we get like i cannot just wake up and i just do my makeup yeah now she's not ready it is just so unfair of me so yeah i will do try by all means to just keep preparing her for day at least in july we do it you get where am i going with these colors but yeah we'll see so yeah guys here i am with a makeup video i hope it turns out amazing because one thing about my makeup these days it's just work hey <laughs> like i feel like my makeup skills have deteriorated like you are guys or it's because of i spend a lot of time not doing my makeup i don't know maybe that's why i'm gonna dip a little bit into the black so that you create like a little bit of a smokiness like you get yeah. like a little bit so yeah i feel like my makeup skills have deteriorated because i do not put on makeup as much as i used to and when i do it's always brown like neutral colors i don't know why and look at this beautiful palette it has a lot of beautiful colors but not this girl so yeah here i am with a makeup look and um, one thing i'm very proud of at this moment is um the reviews i get from people they will like send me their pictures or like, yo i've been watching your like old makeup videos and now i can do my crease i can do my cut crease i can do my eye. like that just gives me the satisfaction that you know at least the progress man i'm not just talking alone more all the time <laughs> so now i'm just gonna cut my crease and i do not have a technique when it comes to my to cutting my crease i just just doing it like as quality just do it like just doing it just do it so what i do is i use the pointy part as you can see i love how this angle is so i use the pointy part and i just look down yeah that's the trick i look down and i cut it where i want it hey like i have no formula or okay i want it to be up to here or and then i just fill in the other part And that's just about it. Like, as I'm saying, I do not know why people make this cut crease thing so complicated. And also, it's up to you where you want it to end. Like, some people make it like half. I do not know the terms. As I said, I'm not a makeup artist. So, there are full terms like what, what, moon. But yeah, that's a story for another day. But now I just end where I want to end. That's just how I do things. And that's it and now i'm gonna go in with the same palette as i said this is a budget friendly makeup look so i'm gonna use this color just to set my crease or is that like very very oily as people say why is my crease very oily And there you go. Now I'm just gonna clean it up, take the same brush that I was using just to remove the part where the eyeshadow just spilled. Yeah, 
yeah and then i'm gonna go in with a very very angled brush and um, this is how it looks i'm gonna dip a little bit into these two colors that i used just to make sure that my crease is it's more precise like i'm just gonna go can y'all see i'm just gonna go like this you see and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the black i just hope i don't mess it up because black once you dip it too much it's not that nice so i'm just gonna dip it a little bit like that yeah that's enough just to make sure that my outer corner is a little bit smoky guys let me finish with my eyes and we will start talking because I realized I cannot. I feel like I'm going to mess it up. Can y'all see that? So there you have it. A very simple cut crease using one palette. One palette. And I'm just going to fix that up. So that the pink and the purple... and there you go let me quickly do my eyeliner and yeah this is what i use the essence the dip eyeliner yeah this is what i use now guys i cannot live without eyeliner like it makes my eyes look like i've edited my photos but in reality i have not edited my photos but yeah this is what i use and i just look down that's the trick you just look down and you just draw um i think i've said this before that you have to make liquid eyeliner or any eyeliner your friend because when you put on your lashes even if you make a mistake it's very hard for us to see if you get what i'm saying like it's very hard for us to see so you just have to make eyeliner your friend so that you win with this eyelash game thing and now i'm gonna go over with some mascara but i'm gonna put on my lashes like last 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 like i will fail i'm just gonna do my entire face and yeah and there you go a very beautiful eye look in less than how many minutes 10 minutes so there you go let me look down so that you guys can see and yeah <laughs> So yeah guys, um, I asked you guys how have you been of which you will comment down below tell me how have you been and now, now I will tell you guys how I have been. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I have been a bit content, hey? not that I do not have any problems. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild foundation, the shade came off, the, the words came off but if I remember correctly this is in the shade cocoa qua qua something like that yeah this is 110 rands yeah. and this works wonders especially the one that's matte which is this one no i mixed my matte one and my dewy one so wet and wild gives you two options of having a matte and a dewy because not all people want that matte look that's just like uh, you just want to look like normal and all that so i mixed the two just to get like an a, a balance you get so yeah um i have been <laughs> why am i blushing let me move this side because my mirror is young um i have been okay like life has been okay i'm not gonna lie um on my previous vlog the one that i went to like farmer's market with muhataga 
a lot of you guys commented that thank you for the quote that i put at like at the end of the video of which i don't know how it came about that quote that we need to start living but um as i was editing that vlog i'm using a flat angle brush which works wonders um as i was editing that vlog i realized that man life has changed and i'm not saying this because of maybe i have a million in my account or whatever no life has changed in a sense that um um how many years back is it it feels like yesterday 2014 eight years back um eight years back i lost a brother an uncle um in a motorcycle accident like he had a bike so he was ran down and then he died of which it made me very not very uptight but in a way i was of which was not me um let me first go back to how who we below was like in high school and in varsity a little bit of varsity i've always been a liker of things ex except for boys <laughs> i loved things but <laughs> like that's the honest truth why is this hair all of all up in my face like why you're making my work difficult dude thank you so i've always loved things been a like of things and i believe things also like me <laughs> and don't forget to do your neck because you don't want your neck to look weird or anything so um i was very very naughty in high school and varsity changed me a lot i was like super chilled in varsity which was weird i don't know why but yeah i was super chilled but still outgoing i've always been an outgoing person and then my brother uncle passed of which he was 31 at the moment he was someone my local whenever i needed something i know he was there like i would be at grace and i would call him and say i this and he would come running like and then Arakel and Nalidi resmates that like the savannah the hunters go like he was just that brother you're not gonna struggle while i'm still alive you get fine and then the tragic thing happened he died like guys um i think this was one of the first funerals in my home whereby someone dies i'm very close to that person usually you'd hear about mama you like who's that okay and all that but it was the first time someone that i'm always with that person died and at that moment i didn't know how to react i'm not gonna lie like it was just so 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 difficult like you uh, like i don't wanna lie like you will pillow say about difficult because and then i'm gonna go in with this um wet and wild concealer like I, I i just didn't know who god was at that time or why me like like guys i don't want to get into much into this but i just want to explain how i became uptight and then after we buried him i started having this thing already no i don't want to leave the house man what if i also die like and it was just that thing it was always on my mind but if you leave the house if you go to groove if you have fun or you will die you need to be inside the house and it was just weird um i remember um, at that time i was still looking for my internship uh experiential learning and i was home for the whole year and i didn't go out like next side i was always at home like i would think maybe if i go out it's gonna accidentally do like i would like I, I don't know how that worked in my mind but that's just what i believed at that time and i was like uh uh I don't, I don't want to end up like my uncle and of which guys accidents happen it was a it was an accident like a car and a motorcycle but now i felt like i remember there was this one time a friend of mine was like ah let's go out for movies and i agreed and that morning i was like uh -uh, i can't because in my mind i'm thinking what if i go there and then the taxi that we're in we get into an accident 
like guys it was just the toughest time of my life and that went on for like i think two or two and a half years without me going anywhere like literally without me going anywhere like i just wanted to be indoors like i cannot wear hope i just want to be indoors and just be safe that's when i felt safe that's where i felt safe inside the house and if you go out sissy you will die like and that's how i became this super paranoid person and very conscious like super conscious if you ask like but i would always look for something bad in something you say let's do this and i'm like we can't do this what if we like i was always looking for something bad to happen but you can't blame me because you understand where did that come from so yeah um i became super uptight and then um, my then boyfriend at the time didn't make it any easier for me i'm not gonna lie because i feel like he was just too happy for me to be in those like that was just like good shot i want her here i want her and i'm gonna go in with this um wet and wild foundation in the shade espresso just to contour my face and he was just like yeah i want like he, he was one person that really loved seeing me indoors and not being out and about and i always say nah i i i i succeed so much when i'm out and about like that's just how i am and yeah but yeah now he was just rejoicing in the whole thing or yeah you're not going anywhere we just chilling he would just come at my house and we just chill outside and that was it so i was like oh man Nabila, like this can't be you you are never like this i used to be that child in high school you know her every week your parents are being called because so how did i end up being this girl now i don't want to go anyway it was very tough i'm not gonna lie i remember um Mukhaire insisted that i put on foundation on my hair <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, how they insisted that I go for therapy and uh, I just wasn't having it. Hey? I, I didn't want to go. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to go. But I felt like now, if it was now, I would have went because I understand. Ooh, can you see this? No filter. Because I feel like now I understand the importance of therapy. But at that point, I was just like, uh, uh very pointless. So I never went. But looking back, I wasted a full three years of my life of not doing anything. Well, the second year, that's when I finished my internship and started working. But still, I wasn't like that. That like next time, hope guys, it was just bad. Like next time, hope like <laughs> like. I do not even want to think about it that much because that was just not the best part of my life. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my candid found, not foundation powder and just set my, what's this, my concealer. So I became this person then where I was very, 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 very scared of going out and then life happened you know god restores guys like god restores and i started seeing things and that's when i started um becoming oh you know one thing i hate about powder if you're not using a sponge it will mess up your life okay let me quickly do this and i will come back So I was just saying that it totally made me sort of like disconnect from the world and feel like the only safe space I'm in was being home. And then as I said, life happened. God was like, no, you are still my child and I will give you a new life. And then that's when I started having this whole thing of being an influencer. And that's when I started seeing things and I'm still, I'm going to go in with my 10 rent pencil and that's when i started seeing things or no man this is how my life should be and i started envisioning my life how i wanted it to be and yeah that's when things started becoming very difficult because it was 
very difficult to build a brand from nothing at that time it's not scheme and now most of my friends they are not into social media so it was difficult for you like i remember i was on a thousand followers for a full two years or something like that and uh my then boyfriend my ex wasn't loving the whole thing of me being on instagram and then i was like peace out i'm using this hermosa floor liquid lipstick and it's in the shade glow getter and then i was like bounce clearly there are some things in life when you have to like achieve things god will remove certain people from your life because they block that so i felt like he was also that part he needed to go because he wasn't allowing me to be myself so yeah i was like uh, uh peace out dude I can't i can't i can't i belong in the street <laughs> i belong in the street so yeah and then life became life it was difficult but i soldiered on guys like as i said it still feels like yesterday because even now as i said eight years ago in my mind i'm like fuck it fuck 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 how is it eight years like so fast but yeah man he's so rest in peace and then i met mukhazaba who understands what the baby K brand is <laughs> he understands it so much it's not even funny and he allows me to be who i am and i couldn't be happier so yeah guys um live your life live your life like there's nothing more i'm gonna say live your life because at this point there's a lot going on it's covid you don't know if there will come a covid 2.0 or what but just live your life guys and you don't need a lot of money for going out and just enjoying like a simple let's go out for a milkshake you get you eat at home and you go out and have a milkshake you chat with your friends or a, like a ladies in games night as you saw as we did so most of the things you just you just have to like think outside the box and just live life because i got a lot of dms and i read the comment sections under that video a lot of people are like oh, Lena, i'm like that i'm always indoors i need to start living life more and all that but i do not have money i'm like who has money who has money who like who has money you just have to think guys like live your life because at the end of the day what the twara and then what the twara like like for him like for him like let's just start there for him i hear a lot of people saying oh i can't groove that much because i want to be a wife material guys banana they marry who they want to marry if uzoto haven't do always grooving if someone really wants to marry so let's just stop right there with this thing of just trying to please men and all that but when i start living your life and this is mostly for the girls because most of us we tend to do that to ourselves guys they do not care if they want to do something they will do it like they will do it and i love but then when you want validation from someone you want acceptance from someone you want what's this like what are mutawu like robot like the robot must be green make robot it for yourself let that robot be green from you or you know what i'm doing this and i'm not gonna stop at nothing that's just how it is and guys live like live live there's nothing more i'm gonna say just live and i'm gonna go in with this dirty wet and wild contour palette this is very light for me so i use it to set my face i just dip on both of the colors and i use it like my under eye just to brighten it can you see so i just use it just to brighten my under eye and my nose because i'm about that i'm about that so yeah guys just live 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 and you'll see the rest copy all i'm gonna say is god will forever be there like it or not mudim will forever be there for you through thick and thin 
wait let me get my wait and wild um highlight so this is the highlight i'm doing why am i think so dirty you guys will start thinking that i'm a dirty girl <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna use this highlighter just to highlight my cheekbones um i love it like i love it can you see that i love it so i just like dip in on all the colors and smile for you <laughs> why is there so much powder here thank you so yeah i just dipped it ne? and then i just smile and i use it like can you see that i don't know what it's called cheekbone whatever as i said guys i'm not a makeup artist i did not go to school for this but i know what my face needs <laughs> can you see that and then i'm gonna also do that to my brow something i don't know what it's called but yeah brow something this part here i'm just gonna highlight it and my nose <gasps> i love it i love it and my eye duct that i know <laughs> just to pop up my eyes and you see i do not even need lashes but yeah i have them on so let me just put them on very fast and i'll be back and just like that i am done 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 guys i look so good it's insane like oh, 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 oh. there's something about black hair on me it just gives me that so yeah guys um this is it for my mini chit chat get ready with me all i'm just saying it's just live your life and continue being human don't be afraid to make mistakes because you can wait to be like don't wait to say i want to be perfect first before i do this before i do that i want to have this first before i do this before i do that it's cut so so live your life and stop at nothing for anything that you want if you want to do something go for it why stop why don't listen to the naysayers don't even listen to me saying you can't do it who am i like who am i do your things and god will do the rest you get so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this like i do not i repeat i cannot multitask talking do my makeup it takes a lot but yeah <laughs> without going any further i love you guys so much and yeah this is it see you on my next video don't forget to like comment and most of all don't forget to subscribe and don't skip ads i love you so much Mwah.